welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. Welcome to this week's episode of The Contented Narrative. We will be looking over Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. So this book has a good premise. So it's basically a retirement village. There's like a doctor, a therapist, um, a former detective, um, and they basically solve crimes, but like old crimes where they can't really do anything. They don't have any say in anything. Um, and it's a, it is a good premise and it is a good murder. I just felt it, I thought it felt a little flat. I mean, the, the characters weren't as, as well rounded as I would have liked. Um, some, some of them felt sort of like very typical of like, if, if you think of an old lady that's, it was a nurse all the years whatever this is what you typically think like a stereotype almost of what they are um, and I was a little bit disappointed because I was really looking forward to this book and as you can see I got it in hardback and that tells you something because unless it's a limited edition sort of like penguin classic or a folio society book as you can see the majority of my books are paperbacks so I got it in hardback because I really wanted to read it and it just it was a it was just good it wasn't great it didn't capture my imagination I, I put it down more often than I would have liked like I'd sit down and, and like you know Michael would be watching the football and I'd, I'd normally sit down to read and I literally just sat there and went no do I just scroll on my phone like it took me a little bit longer to read because I just I wasn't invested I mean I figured out the killer ki the killer pretty quickly um and it was just a case of yeah there's a couple of times where these where it's almost like he's deliberately playing I mean Richard Osman is great on pointless um, and he's he's very intelligent. I just don't think this book is as highly recommended. Um, it's not bad. It's not awful. It is a good book, and it is a good premise. I just think for what it is, and for how much people have raved about it, and the fact that I bought it hardback, just it wasn't worth it for me. And I will lend this book out to people, and if people enjoy it, that's great. So basically. It's set in this retirement village. These old people are, are you know, figuring out what's going on. Um, and then there's a murder that happens in their midst. So then they basically, like, one of the women, very domineering, basically manipulates the police, manipulates, the, like, everything um, to try and get in on the investigation. They try and figure it all out. And it just sort of follows them. And, and a couple of the chapters are from the point of view of one of these women that just sort of, like, is just like a wallflower. It's just in the background is not really thinking about anything and again it it just I, I don't know like I felt I felt let down a bit because I love I love a good murder mystery as well you know I love a good murder mystery I love reading it trying to figure out who done it and everything but with this one I was like I just don't care um it was just a meh kind of book for me um and it's one that I probably I mean, I, I'll keep it. I don't know if I'd necessarily reread it though. And I might not even get the sequel to it, which I think is out now. Um, it's just, it's a shame. It is a shame because I'm sure he poured his heart and soul in. And again, you know, it's, I, I think this is more of a, like, if you get it in a paperback, it's more of a by the pool, sun drenched, you know, paperback kind of holiday novel as it were I don't think it's one that you would necessarily invest that much time and opinion into I mean you know you could give it a go I obviously I, I review these books and if people like them that's fine the characters were subpar the plot was subpar and it's annoying because the premise was so good and I love the idea of like I mean I love the idea of thinking like like my grandparents in like a little like retirement village. They're not in a retirement village. Like my nonno still climbs trees and he's in his eighties now. Um, but the idea of them solving crimes and murders, but they don't actually <laughs> do much. And you just kind of sat there being like, and every time you think it's building up to something, you're like, yes, finally, this is it. This is what we're gonna have. Nothing. And you just sat there being like, okay, right next one and next one and it's just yeah it it's not great um so to be perfectly honest out of five i'd probably give it a two and a half a two and a half out of five it's 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 okay 
um but i personally probably wouldn't go back to it um if you if you do read it and you disagree with me fair enough leave it below in the comments i'm more than happy for that um don't forget that i do have a facebook group called the contented narrative i do also have instagram uh the contented narrative funnily enough um so if you want to follow me on there or join the facebook group for more discussions that's absolutely fine um obviously if there's any books film recommendations or any book recommendations you'd like leave it below in the comments or send me a message on on the facebook group or the instagram um which is absolutely great you know please subscribe to this channel as well so you're alerted when new videos come out um if there's any authors out there that are sort of undiscovered that you think i should discover please do um i'm more than happy to to, to read whatever books you guys recommend um but until then, uh, until next week, please remember to always keep it contento.